It's coming up tonight here in Springfield at the Regional Sports Center. This man, David Flex, in the ring against Patrick Large. That's right. You know something? What you see right here is the one of the best physical specimens you'll ever see in the ring, David Flex. Now, last month, you all remember when Patrick Large was beaten in the middle of the ring, one, two, three, by my man, David Flex. Now, a couple weeks later, I got a call from General Manager Allen, and according to him, Mr. Large threw one of the biggest temper tantrums in history, something truly befitting his name. And Patrick demanded, demanded the nerve of this guy, a rematch with David Flex. Now, I don't know what this kid's thinking, but he's in for a long night if he wants a rematch against you. <laughs> to, to demand a rematch against someone to the likes of myself, David Flex, the abdominals. Look at those. Look at that. That's look at all, that. All six. The biceps. Them. Look at that. Get, get that. Zoom in. Zoom in. I don't know why anyone would want to try that for a second time. You lost the first time, Patrick, and you're going to lose the second time because there's no beating greatness. And what you see is pure greatness. The real deal, Flex Appeal. Send us off here, Pat. Coming up tonight on the WC. Booyah! WC David Flex was here. Very impressive physique, very impressive abil ability, just a very impressive wrestler. Yeah, he, he wrestles a lot in, in Southern California and he expressed an interest in uh, uh, wrestling in other venues and other markets across the country. Uh, when Jeff Manning and I, co owners of the WC, found out about that, we thought that he would be an excellent competitor uh, to bring in. Uh, which we obviously did. And again, as we were talking about the association of Brian Zane with Kellen Wright, when, when Brian Zane saw this young man come into the WC, he snatched him up right away because he saw the potential and he saw the athleticism. Well, I don't think he's trying to catch up with the faction, get his table of Z-Man Enterprises. Now, I've been to, I, a few fans talked to me earlier tonight and I've read, uh, received a few emails about the faction. Now, with professional wrestling in the Northwest, we've seen Buddy Rose's army. We've seen Rip Oliver's clan. And we've also seen the Grappler's wrecking crew. A lot of people are saying that the faction may be in competition as one of the most toughest groups of men in the history of Pacific Northwest wrestling, bar none. Yeah, I, I think I think you really, uh, you hit that nail on the head there, Joe.
tonight. You might as well just say the rule book has just gone out the window. Yeah, this is this is a highly anticipated matchup here in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, I, I think the pan, the fans are not going to be disappointed with the action that's about to take place. No, Pat Large has along his mind for about two minutes. He was tag team champion. The team of Painfully Large actually won the tag team title from gentleman George Michael and Derek Cross with the partnership in Portland a few months back. J.T. Allen overturned that, held the titles up. Henceforth, that's why we have the tournament. So, Large, he's got a lot on his mind, being, dare I say, screwed by J.T. Allen and wanting some action out of Mr. Flex. from Patrick Large, Pat. Absolutely, this is going to be a great matchup, and we're going to get the, the call for the first bell from referee Eric Wright in just moments. There it is. Look at that front that Flex is doing. Wow. 